Woo, welcome back to the vlog guys. Today's vlog I'm gonna show you guys a super late upload. I've always had videos, I just never had the time to edit it. So I know if you guys are wondering, I just never have time to edit it. I mean, I'm not even that good of an editor, but you know, I still wanna keep going with the videos, try to get content when content is there. So I gotta show you guys. Um, this video, I'm, I actually installed the harness. I'll show you how I got the harness inside, the harness bar actually, and yeah, it's gonna be probably like a two part video, but this is when I had afro hair before, and obviously now I cut it off. So enjoy the video. We're actually on our way to Home Depot. We're gonna see if we can try to hit that thing with the rubber mallet. Rubber mallet. I was gonna say frozen mallet. God, fucking Yu Gi Oh, man. <laughs> like, my bad, my bad. But we're on our way over there right now. Hopefully, we don't, uh, get, caught. We don't get caught and we can just, you know, go Keep along about our day. If not, we might just end up buying a rubber mallet anyways. We're eventually gonna need it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Tools. We almost there. <laughs> oh, oh, found it, boys. Give me the loop. Try that black and brown. Yeah, you might as well. I don't know how you're gonna do it though. Oh, bro, you better. Oh, it's about to be dumb and loud. Uh, have a short life that is full of what you like doing, and a long life spent in a miserable way. Hey, come on, come on, yeah. I don't want the pain. Uh -uh. Wait, is it straight still? It doesn't even look straight. guys so the first attempt was actually a fail it actually didn't work um we're gonna try to see if we can try to find a bolt or something that could work and go from there he's still trying to bonk it make sure it goes through oh shit crack kills bro <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding. but uh we're gonna see if it works take two so this is what we actually mean um i got it like this how it's kind of bent and the screw, put on the screw, try it. So the screw, it actually doesn't go all the way through because it's bent a little up. So that's why we're trying to hit it with a mallet so it could, uh, you know, fit. But we'll see what, maybe one of the workers out here. So we'll see if one of the workers out here can actually give us a hand, see if they if they know any tips or anything that could, we could try to bonk it. But if not, we'll just keep hammering until it goes through because uh, Closes at like 10, I think. <laughs> so we got two hours. So fuck it. Mm, this way? Um, Hopefully this works. Nope, that way? Sorry, thanks. Oh, okay. Mm, just... oh, I can hold it up for you. Hi. It's okay. There. We can leave it on like that for a second, but I'm not sure it'll. Mm -hmm. Can I try? Okay. Yeah. Good luck, bud. It's pretty strong. Yeah. I think it might be tough. It might be cast iron. It'd be easier to... Probably just re-thread it. 
drill a, I mean, I wouldn't, you Where shouldn't is? have to re-thread it, but just drill through the first part of that hole so it's bigger. It's bigger, okay. What's up to you? Who's yours? <laughs> I would want to, I mean, shoot, we're trying to do it by tonight at least, but it doesn't look like it's, unless we just leave it there for like a quick second. I, don't know. I would. It's still smell like not much tighter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, can we drill it then? Yeah. Um. Well, okay. Alright, so current. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. So I'm using my phone right now. Sorry about the whole uh, how it looks right now. I'm um, currently. Um, we actually used a drill bit. I don't know if you guys can see. Started trying to re-drill it because it didn't fit. This fucking thing didn't work. The vice grip or grip, whatever you want to call it, it didn't actually work. So the lady's actually trying to go re-thread it for us. Like Shout out to her. I don't even know her name actually. She's she's she's, she's, she's right now. She's the MVP right now. But apparently we're waiting for her to come back and you know so it could actually fit. Let me show you guys. It, I mean, you can see that there's a new hole in there, but that's fine. We're gonna make a new hole so we could have the bolt fit through. And so it'll just be easier for us to install it. Yeah, exactly. And if, if once this thing is actually done, we actually can finally install it and, you know, just be done with it. But currently it's taking uh, about five minutes. Not too long. We've only been here for like five minutes. I'm not that bad. You know, five minutes, bro. I mean, we'll be in 12 hours later. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah. This, but, uh, I mean, overall, hopefully this is all for the F. If not... You know, she gets a good review. Thumbs up for me. <laughs> but that was pretty good. Uh, we're on our way back home now. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Damn, that thing looks bad. You see this? I wanted to install it without actually trying to take out this piece right here to pry it out. So what, uh, what we did is we put it behind it, the actual um, seat belt behind it. And then we just put the bolt in, but the, that's how that looks like. Um, for this piece, I actually do not know how my passenger is actually going to use their seatbelt. So in the meantime, I'm going to have whoever my passenger is, is going to use the other Takata. It's actually right behind it. So I, luckily I installed that before, but now we have to take out this piece, this metal piece right there, this one, on both sides to actually fit. And once that's done, this whole harness bar would fit. It's actually pretty sturdy. doesn't really move. That's a good thing. You know, it's solid. It looks pretty dope. I'm eventually going to get new seats, and I do not want to delete the rear unless I have to. But we'll double check. We'll see on that. Um, I'll catch you guys in a bit on the install. Probably maybe do a time lapse or something. But we'll see how it goes. 1,000 years later. So now we have to find a metal pry tool or a metal bar or some crowbar or something. I don't know. Well, I don't even know what the tool is called. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh. the nut squeezer. <laughs> <laughs> we actually got one side off. That's pretty good. Um, we actually just used our finger strength. That's pretty, that's pretty bad, though. I didn't tighten that. <laughs> Shame on me. That's pretty bad. Safety for, you know, safety always first. So, luckily, we're going to move this. He's still trying to use, he's trying to do it with his hands. Did, did it work? No. Nope. It's tightening? Oh, oh hell, no. hell no. But luckily, this looks hella clean in there. So that's a good thing. But we're going to try to work on that side. So I legitimately don't even know how the fuck did I put this on there. It's like... <laughs> Alright, so just push this. Come on. Come on, little piggy. Struggles real to get that Takata off. No, you know it needs a little lube. Ready? No. Classic spit uh, oh. <laughs> So currently we finished one side. As you can see, it's really sturdy. That's pretty good. Uh, you do need a 17. I don't know if you guys can see that 17 socket for the top, and I think that one is what? Uh, 14. That one's a 14. So you need a 14 socket for this. So. When you take this out, if you have your original seat belt and everything, you want to use that same exact thing 
uh, same exact bolt and washer, bolt and, washer and spacers, things. everything that they have originally on there. So this bolt right here is actually super long. It's probably longer than you know what I'm trying to put right here. It's actually from the original seat belt from this. So we just use that because I would have to run all the way back home to go grab the other bolt. In the meantime, I'm gonna rep I'm gonna replace that. I'll replace that later with the original bolt from the original seat belt. So there is only one way for these to work, and I'm gonna have my cousin over here explain it. All right. So the way that I, the fitment of these is one end is what is it fat? No, it's shorter than the other. So. So there, you can see, see there's, there's, there's a difference. difference. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously the small side only fits to the top. Top right here. And in like the bottom. Well, the other way. Yeah. No, no, no. no the other the way. Yeah. No, this way it goes here. Yeah. Down. down. So it goes here. It goes like that. Outside, all right, guys. So it goes like this. Outside. And the bottom oh. piece only fits for the bottom. So yeah. it goes that way. Right here. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. Again. So look at how big that bolt is compared to the original, if you guys notice that, if you guys have the original. Um, so remember, the big side goes towards the bottom, the floor. The small side is the only part that fits onto the actual bar. Yes. I actually did not see a lot of... I actually did not see a lot of videos of people installing this, like even though it probably takes hella long to do it. There's not really a m much videos on how to do it besides Universal. And this is actually for a Genesis Coupe. So if you guys ever do have a you know Genesis Coupe, good luck. It's kind of a, what? Pain, you bother. It's a pain in the ass to actually get this stuff on, but it really, you know, that's the learning process. I mean, I wanted to go for a look without taking these out, even though the picture it does show so I didn't want to do that. So I definitely wanted to keep it on because it looks a little more cleaner until I figure out what I really want to do on it. Um, so this is the seat belt. It sits not too far away from it, but it's definitely behind it. So you can see there's a little line from this thing rubbing together. So I'm gonna stick with the harness, with the harness for now. These are legit Takatas. I wanted the green ones, but you know, it could I had these for a steal, so. Not too bad. So he's finishing it up there. Oh, you have to tighten it, bro. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll tighten it later. Let me just, like... Oh, he's getting both parts on right now. Damn, you got that thing hella fast. Faster than oh. the other side. So he's working on that side. So remember, the bolt goes outside with the washer. Exactly like that. Give it two wrenches and should be done. Wow. So this is the final product of how it looks. Let me know what you guys think. That's, I think that looks pretty nice. Let me see from the front view. My window is going to be kind of dirty, so don't do First it. off, I'm going to start off by saying thank you guys for staying to the end of the video. I know that this video was kind of a super late upload. But don't get me wrong, we still have videos on the way. Um, hopefully this video was useful to you guys. If you guys were, you know, planning on thinking of buying a harness bar or a harness from Cypher. Not all, don't get me wrong, not all their stuff, you know, from Cypher should have to, you know, make a little modification for it to fit. Usually it should fit right away, but I guess this, you know, everything worked out fine. So there's nothing wrong with it. So if you guys think this video was useful to you guys, I want you guys to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.